Okay, well, welcome back to Hobbies and Gear. As you can tell, I'm wearing the same shirt in the previous video that I just done. Uh, so I made that video same day. Duh. Um, this is going to be a actual ham radio video now. <clears throat> previous video was just kind of let you know what was going on, and of course, train in the background, and uh, to let you uh, folks know that I'm back. So this is Hobby and Gear with KESLSP. That is my call sign uh, with the FCC and Amateur Radio. And the video today is going to be about Wires X. Now, um, those of you who own YAC radios know about Wires X. Wires X is a, uh, a digital ham radio system. Uh, that you can use. Uh, you can go through a tower, you can go through a node, uh, you can go through your computer and uh, talk to other ham radio operators who have wires X around the world. Now, I don't know if anybody has figured this out, uh, if it's uh, well, well known now, uh, but a few weeks ago I was getting some questions on how I was going through um, my radio to my laptop to the internet and using just the standard cable that comes from Yesu when you purchase a uh, FTM 100 DR or an FTM 400 XDR radio uh, the 20 series cable um, because I have heard that there was some cable out there that you had to purchase in order for your radio uh, to work um, in direct mode so I'm going to take a couple moments here and show you um, how I do it now uh, disclaimer the only camera that I have is an iPhone uh, so it's going to be moving you get motion sickness I'm sorry um, but I've got to switch the screens right now I've got it on what they call selfie mode uh, that way I can see the screen all that good stuff so here in a minute I'm going to pick it up we're going to switch to the back camera uh, that way I can show you uh, what I'm talking about. So let's go ahead and, and, and jump right on into this video. I uh, hope it makes sense to you. Um, I'm going to do the best that I can. So here we go. If you're motion sickness, hang on. We're going to be moving. Okay. So let's go here and see if I can switch sides here. And okay, we have switched. Um, as you can see, here's my laptop. I just use a standard Lenovo laptop. Um, uh, yeah, I'm an AC fanboy, I'm sorry. Uh, you can see all the connections, kind of give you a tour of my, my shack here real quick. I have uh, one monitor that I use to uh, watch the radar with. Uh, I am part of the Skywarn in this area. Uh, we've had some storms rolling through, as you can tell. It's refreshed. Just had a severe thunderstorm come through. Let's see if I can find it. Eh, right in that area. And I've got a third monitor. Uh, there's my HT. Uh, this one here is the uh, FT70D. And this is the Elenco GP MD5GP. This radio is the FT891 uh, HF radio. Of course power supply, SWR meter, and that is for audio for digital work on HF, total different video. Sterling speaker, antenna analyzer, and the all famous FTM 400 XDR. So now, as you can see right now, I've got it running the uh, local repeaters in the area. Uh, VFOA is my uh, uh, two meter local repeater and the bottom VFO I've got it scanning the local fire departments in the area uh, right now they've got a structure fire somewhere around me and of course we're not going to say anything <clears throat> but that's not why you guys came here so let's get into the wires X portion of this video let's get back here just a little bit okay so what we're going to do is 
which we're going to do right up here. And I've downloaded this right from Yesu, from the Wires X. We're going to double click on that. I'm just going to bring up my login information. And we're going to have this screen here. We're going to give it time to load here. And up top here, you can see you know, the digital on-air lock local. And this right here will show up what kind of radio you have linked to it. And this will be some messaging that you can use. If you look here, you can tell if you're online and what version. Uh, different direct nodes that you can go into. Sorry about my finger. Give it just a minute here, or she'll load up. Okay, so while we're waiting for that to load, let's go over here to the radio. Now, there's a few different ways that you can go into Wires X on uh, the 100 and the 400. Uh, the first mode that you can do, we'll go ahead and do that for the VFO knob. And we will go around. I know this uh, Scott Depot uh, 441825 is my local repeater for Wires X. And press and hold this. And you know what? I just realized something. What I've done. Uh, I've got that set up for my node. Just give me just a second. We're going to close that out. I'm sorry about that. See? I told you I'm a new, new ham radio operator. So this is going to be a learning experience for all of us. And uh, we'll go from there. So what we're going to do is... So I want to show you if I can reach it back here. That way you guys will see what I am using. No cheatsies, nothing like that. Bear with me just a second so I can find this. What I'm looking for is my cable. And, of course, there it is. I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not. But I am, in fact, using the 20 cable. And now I've got my laptop all out of place here. Okay. So now what we're going to do, we'll go back over here to the 400. And it doesn't matter what channel you're on whatsoever. What you're going to do, <clears throat> now that I failed at the first attempt to get on the wires and show you guys how I do it online, let's try it again. So what you're going to do, you're going to hold down your power button, power your radio off. Now, I usually need two hands to do this, but we're going to try to do this. So my big, big mitt's going to be in the way here. What you're going to do is you have your wires X button here. You have your group monitor button here and your power. You're going to hold this button and this button down, the two red buttons at the same time, and reach up here, still get around here, and power your unit back on. And you'll see that it comes up into wires X. So we're showing my personal node that I can connect to with my mobile and my truck or my Yaesu uh, 70. If you come down here and this VFO knob here, press it, we go into direct mode. I am now directly set up, going directly into my laptop via this cable. Whoop. Sorry, this USB cable right here into my laptop into Wires X. As you can see, we have the America Room, Texas Nexus, all linked up there, um, all the other active rooms. So then all I have to do is find my mouse again. If I want to go into 
America room. As I do a right click, hit connect, start call. Hang about. Bada bing, bada uh, bang. Sorry about that. Really good time, bada bing, bada bang. We are there. Find my mouse again here. And what I usually do is I'll take this one and stick it right over here and come back and get this box. And if you, you don't have to have multiple monitors. It's kind of nice. I'll do some programming as well. So, let's take a look what's on the screen. Of course, showed you all this here. So we're going back up here. Now we're on the digital net in American Link. I'm on air. Not local because it's not lit up and it shows what radio I'm using. FTM 400. Call start. Remember, 102 nodes connected to America Link. I am directly from this. As you can see, it's showing all the proper information from my regular radio to my laptop to that. Now I also have a uh, repeater that I can connect to as well that's local. Uh, it's, well it's kind of local, it's, it's a few miles away. I can hit it that way as well. <clears throat> but that's how you do it and uh, it works just fine. Let me turn it up here. You guys can take a listen. Copy that, sir. I appreciate your info there. Uh, let me you and yours. From KI5 EDL 73, and I'll be clear and listening. And what we'll do is we'll listen to these guys. We'll get a break here. I'll do a little radio test for you. Uh, to show that it works just perfect. KE8 LSP, radio test, please. KE8 LSP, KI5 EDM. It's working, sir. Thank you, EDM, KE8 LSP. Um, had a little storm come through. And I'm doing a video as well to show a friend of mine how we can go into uh, WiresX Direct uh, via the 400 as well. Thank you for the radio test. You have a great weekend. KE8 LSP, clear. Roger that, 73, KE8 LSP, KI5 EDM. I'll be clear. And folks, there you have it. Uh, that's how you do it. That's how you set it up. Uh, that's the way that I use Wires X, and uh, it works absolutely fantastic. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. Um, I hope it was a little bit informative for you. Um, like I said, I'm a technician. I've had my, my ticket for less than, than a month, maybe a little bit over a month, uh, and I have sat and tried to figure this stuff out on my own. Uh, I've got a good friend of mine who is a ham radio operator of 30 years, but he doesn't really get into the digital things as much. Uh, my brother-in-law does. We, we conversate back and forth. Uh, but pretty much was just watching YouTube videos and uh, trial and error. Um, the next video that I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how um, I log into the 400 in direct mode. And then I kick it over to my node from my house or within a regional area and I connect my 70 to it or my 100 while I'm on the road. And uh, it goes from that radio, excuse me, it goes from that radio to my 400 through my computer onto the interweb. And uh, that's how I use wires X on the go. So I hope everyone has a wonderful day, a wonderful evening. Uh, if you like this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to uh, subscribe down there. Um, and we'll see you next time on the next video. You guys take care. KE8 LSP clear.